guess who's back? Back, back, back again. So I'm pretty sure everyone knows the famous game Flappy Bird. And I'm pretty sure everyone has heard the news that the developer of the game, uh, Dong Nijian, I, I can't pronounce his name, has pulled Flappy Bird from the App Store. So that means no more Flappy Bird. If some of you are lucky enough to uh, have downloaded the app before it was taken off, good job. You get to keep it as long as you want until you delete it. So Flappy Bird was taken off of the App Store because Dong, I'm just going to go with his name Dong, his first name Dong, uh, was getting a death threats because of this game. People couldn't beat the game, so they would send him death threats of why he would create such a thing. So, of course, I understand why he would do that. I have not been in that situation where I've received death threats, but I understand why he would do what he did and remove the game. He's fearing for his own life. Every, anyone in that position would fear for their life. But, I mean, if I were him, I would have kept it because, I mean... You created something that people love to hate. And when people love it and hate it at the same time, you did one hell of a job with that app or that game or whatever it is that you created. But again, it's understandable why he would delete the app from the App Store. Now, I just heard uh, today, which is February 10th, that the developer Dong Nijun has committed suicide. And it says, Flappy Bird developer Dong Nijun, I'm, I'm sorry if I can pronounce his name, has just been found dead in his home with a gunshot wound in his head. Authorities are confirming that Dong committed suicide by shooting himself in the head with a pistol. Authorities are saying that the sensational game Flappy Bird had something to do with the suicide. Here's what I'm going to say. People actually have the audacity of creating a hoax that he committed suicide. That is just disrespectful to the to the man. I mean, the all the guy did was create a movie. I mean, I'm sorry, a game that he thought would be fun for the whole world. He did not think it would go this far as to receiving death threats, as to being said that he has committed suicide because of this game. This is how popular this game is and this and, and Dong should have not should have not deleted this in the first place because last night uh when the game was deleted removed from the App Store um it was up for I don't know what it ended with I don't know if it has ended already but it was at 78,189 cents for the fucking for an iPhone 16 gigs because Flappy Bird was installed. There was actually 57 bids for this game. I mean, really if people are now placing ridiculous bids just because of a game, Don should have not taken this game off in the first place. He's going to realize every, like, he's, if you were to go to eBay, you would see everything. There's a Samsung phone going for $600, $700. There's an iPhone 4 going for, like, $1,000. Go to eBay, look up iPhone Flappy Bird. There's a bunch of phones going for almost, for over $500 just because Flappy Bird is installed in the phone. People. There is no reason for this man to have received death threats because of a game that people can't beat. I myself never downloaded it. I didn't want to play it. I didn't want to give it a try. I'm not saying it's nothing bad. My girlfriend, my brother, my sister, my mom have played the game. And, you know, they're hooked on it. Me, not really, wasn't really into it from the beginning. I gave it a shot a few times. That's it. I sucked. I only got one pipe. That's it. But for people to actually send this man death threats because he can't beat a level or can't beat the game, that's just sad. I mean, come on. It's just a game. It's just an app. People, relax. It's just a game. 
it's just a game.